Okay, with that out of the way, hello Team Zug and welcome back to another custom video. Today, we are going to look at a custom that I just finished today, and that is OJ, the Paddle Steamer. So, if you've been, um, been watching my videos lately, you know that I'm currently working on a series called Tugs Years Later, and so far I got half of the cast completed, or well, the main cast, and t yeah, Top Hat was the first one I did, and he's right there, and I was wondering, after, before I completed Top Hat, I asked people who would they um, like me to make next, and OG was the one who won, I mean, Big Mac was close, he got like a, like, 30 votes less, but it was OJ who won it, which is ironic because in the last poll before I before I made Top Hat, he was the one who got the least amount of votes. So yeah, it's kind of um, ironic that I um, that people really want to make OJ. So yeah, here's OJ. Now let's get into the model. OJ was. Kind of a challenge at first. Why? Because he's a pal steamer. Unlike Tencent and Sunshine and Top Hat, which were just normal tugboats, OG was kind of a challenge because he's like a pal steamer. Which means if you're not known about Maritimes, pal steamers are these big giant wheel things right there that you spin around like a tractor. Yeah. They were popular in the 19th century, but they kind of um, lost their grip in the 20, when the 21st century arrived. And, yeah. So, OG's the oldest character in Tugs, and making him was kind of um, a challenge, but here we are. So, like Top Hat, his face is removable, because obviously, because if I glued then he wouldn't be able to move around. This is how I am um, used to put, um, hang on, let me just, um, hang on. I don't think you could actually see it real well, well, so hang on. Ah, there, there we go. There's, there's this little toothpick right here that I glued into this little hole area. Yeah. That works if I just put it OG, like, in here. That make oh sorry. That gives him a the ability to move around. Pretty good. I mean it's not a perfect method, but it's what I do. Now I think the method could work better if I didn't use the glue that I use. Fun fact, I use completely different glue from how I made Top Hat. Because the glue that I used for Top Hat was quite a little bit smaller, like one of those tiny tube things. 
that you can easily control? Yes, well, they didn't open. Yeah, I tried to have them open, but they just wouldn't open, so I had to, like, use the bigger glue from the same company, because I got some glue for that, as well as a backup, and, well, I needed a backup, so there it is. And, yeah. This stack right here, yeah, um, it's bigger than Top Hat's, which is actually accurate, because OG has a bigger stack, which I'm really glad how it turned out. It was kind of difficult on how to, um, because I still use the toothpick thing, but this is more secured, because I basically glued the, tooth, the toothpick to the stack, and I made a little hole using a pin just to get there. Nearly damaged the model, but I didn't. Served its purpose, and it's solid as a rock, kind of. The, the area right here, that, um, this little bit right here, yeah, that bit doesn't move. The reason why, oh, sorry. The reason why that bit exists is because, um, in the show, OG actually has that bit. Yeah, because it's so small, you hardly ever notice it. It's kind of the same situation as, like, a, let's say, Sunshine. Because if you look closely, he does have it. Like, if I just move his head up there, you can actually see it just right there. So, yeah, OG has the same thing as well. So, I, um... I had to glue that bit in, paint it brown, and then, um... And I just glued it on. I first painted brown, then I glued it on. But I also got a hole. I made a hole using um, a screwdriver. Yeah, just figure out what screwdrivers could also do. They could also make all holes, apparently. Yep. Now, this bit right here, this was mo mostly a last minute addition. This is this little thing OG has at the front. Yeah, I wasn't originally intending to like um give that to him. It was more of a last minute decision because I wanted OG to look good, and he does. I'm so glad I decided to add this on. It makes him stand out a bit more. Now, the sides on the his paddle wheels are not perfect, but I really tried. Here's his back. Yes, I added windows to him, and it they look good, I guess. The back parts are always like this is a little bit um interesting because OJ is meant to have like two other areas where the his um lifeboat would have been put on. So if you're wondering where's his lifeboat, yeah, I didn't add that bit because one, this is a pretty Difficult model to make anyways, and plus, this bit right here kind of looks like it, so I decided, eh, hey, why not? Now, his stack is kind of the, in the right position, but it's on top of something, which is kind of a little accurate, because the little thing, like, it's basically this thing, but just on it. But I didn't want to make um OG, like, really long, so I just, like, eh, screw it. And if OJ was actually made in Ertl, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how um, he was actually intended to look if Ertl decided to make him. I know there might be rumors that OJ would have been next if Tugs continued into the Ertl line. I also think OJ was also kind of easy because of hole wise because, well, his hole is basically... Um, doesn't have these these railings that Top Hat has. And if you're wondering, yes, they are the same size. Just something I just want to keep around. It's head is a little bit difficult, but I'm just glad I finally um have him. 
So yeah, that's my custom month OJ. If you like this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'm I think the next one I'm probably going to make is Big Mac since recently I put a community post on YouTube saying who would I like to be made next and surprise surprise Big Mac might be next because he has so many votes. And yeah, I think Big Mac might be next one made. And if you I'm still looking for a voice actor for OJ since he, as well as Old Man, are literally the only characters I still need someone to voice. So, if you like this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to make an audition for OJ or Old Man, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and goodbye.